All right, so I thought I would do a more technical video here on how I run my air conditioner off solar. Um, so the Winnebago view comes with, um, standard it comes with 200 watts of solar, but um, my rig came with 510 watts and um, and it also came with uh, lithium ion batteries, which are right here in the stairwell, which I've disassembled. And that's 3.3 of energy storage, which that's about a day's worth of use for me if I'm cooking um, with electricity and everything else and working. So what I've done is added um, so that my external solar panels connect up to this device. It's a Dabson, which is not very common. Um, but the reason I got this unit is one, it has an app. Um, two, it has an external battery. But the best part about the external battery, and you know, there's just a lot of wires. I'm not going to try to explain it. But you can uh, plug in. Um, two different solar panels into the spare battery uh, and you can plug in another set into the main battery. And the benefit of that is if I'm parked in the shade I can just remove the external battery, take it somewhere else, charge it with solar. But I have lots of extra cables so I can just stretch them. Um, so I'm running all my DC loads, so that's like the refrigerator, the lights inside, um, I guess that's about it. Um, and the fans are running on DC, and so I'm using the panels on the roof for that, along with the, uh, the lithium batteries that I showed you under the stairs there. Now what this does is, uh, this Dapson device is all my AC loads, so that's like the microwave, um, my computer, um, but the router and everything runs off DC. But most importantly, the air conditioner runs off this this thing. And you can see I've been, it's like 90 degrees out, uh, it's 12.30, the batteries are still at 70%. And uh, on this particular battery I have 324 uh, watts of power coming in, but uh, there's two panels plugged into this. Unfortunately, that battery's turned around backwards so you can't see it. So what I have is, uh, on the side here, is, uh, well, whatever, it's an AC, I have an AC out, coming out, and then I have that in, plugged into an extension cord, and then I'm just back feeding my RV instead of using the uh, RV power. Um, for some reason, it will not run off the RV uh, power plug, but this is neater anyway. I, it's all confined. I can close this door and you won't ever see it. And so um, I have a soft start device on the AC unit. And so since the Dabson is able to uh, power 2,200 watts, it uh, easily powers the air conditioner unit, which uses which uh, consumes about 1,800 watts. So, um, so eventually the AC unit will kick in and um, my solar won't be enough to keep this thing powered. It'll just keep losing battery <laughs> capacity. But I'm at 70% right now and uh, it's really nice inside. So and I think that's it. So yeah, you should check out... Uh, the Dabson device is pretty, pretty handy, and they're cost-effective, uh, a lot cheaper than um, some of the others that I was looking at. So, all right, see ya.